Diabetes is one, one thing that's been reversed. I'm under total control. I just do yoga. Vortexes are energy centers where the energy is able to move in and out of the Earth. From the boundaries of the universe to the depth of your soul, embark on a journey through the unknown and unexplained as we explore mysteries, magic, and miracles. Hello and welcome, I'm Patrick McNee. Today, we'll feed our psychic soul as we journey through some of the most compelling energy centers of the country. But first, we'll take a look at the various art forms of yoga and the dramatic effects it can have on the human body. As the end of the century approaches, the ills of humanity have reached crisis proportions. Can we survive the problems caused by baffling diseases, increased stress, even obesity? If we reach into the past, an ancient and mystical practice may provide some of the answers. What causes cancer or any other chronic or fatal disease has puzzled doctors for years. What's even more mysterious is the remission of a disease for no apparent reason. Many mystic disciplines, including yoga, believe that humans can alter their own well-being. When I came here, I was 54 years old, and I thought I was dying. I felt like I was dying. I mean, for, I've had diabetes since I was 27, and when I hit about 50 years old, I, I felt like my insides were giving out. All my life, every day in my life, curing people with all kinds of chronic diseases. Yes, I do. The kind of yoga you practice makes a difference. There are both meditative and physical yogas. In some yogic practices, people have awakened extraordinary powers, such as telepathy, levitation, and invisibility. But in Hatha yoga, people have found physical miracles. Next is Trikonasana triangle posture. First time in your life, you are going to use 100% of your body inside out from bone to the skin, from finger to the toes. You ready? Bikram Chaudhary, president of the Yoga College of India, began studying yoga at the age of four. He studied under Bishnu Ghosh, one of India's most famous yogis. Bikram's extraordinary ability to apply his yoga expertise to everyday people has brought him huge success and recognition by the Western medical community. So recently, I uh, treat a lot of patients, cardiac patients from Cedar, which is 70s, 80s. They are not even uh, conditioned to have a bypass or open heart surgery, and I'm making them perfect without surgery. So that's why Cedar Sinai Hospital uh, Cardiology Department decided uh, to have a research with me. Uh, they are giving me 850 patients. Bikram's style has become so widely known, famous celebrities and athletes have come to him. Dancer Julia Prowse, who's been studying with Bikram over 20 years, even teaches classes when he's away. Despite injuries and setbacks in her career and personal life, she continually seeks the discipline and workout to help see her through. I can do them all right now. It's a little hard because I'm just recuperating from a very big operation. Um, I'm hoping that within another year, I'll be able to do them all properly again. While only a young man in his early 20s, word of Bikram's ability spread to the United States. For the nation's top leader, the help of Western medicine had come to an end. When I first came here 25 years ago, I came here to treat President Nixon when he was president. And uh, he has phlebitis thrombosis, the left leg. The doctors wanted to amputate his leg. While the American Medical Association laughed at Bikram for suggesting that backbending would cure the president, in fact, it did. Many professional athletes have come to Bikram's class to improve their performance. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, some say basketball's greatest center, believes there was no way he could play as long as he did without yoga. Once he started yoga practice, he had no injuries throughout his entire career. The effect of yoga on the body against aging and chronic disease has hardly been measured by Western science. But for Julian Goldstein, the results have been life-altering. Julian, I have to say, you don't look like the typical person who would be involved in yoga. Well, it's true. I, I don't look like a person who does yoga. 
uh, I'd probably be the last kind of person you expect to be teaching yoga because of what happened to me. I mean, diabetes is one, one thing that's been reversed. I'm under total control. I just do yoga and I no longer require insulin. The herniated disc that I had in my back, which the doctors gave a 50-50 chance of recovery with surgery, uh, it's, I'm recovered from that. And you attribute that to yoga? That was the only thing I did. Hatha yoga consists of 84 different postures, but since many are too difficult for the beginner, Bikram researched a special arrangement. So I researched for all my life, with a lot of people, with a lot of chronic diseases, I picked up 26 postures and two breathing exercises. That 26 postures, you can use your body 100%. While Bikram keeps his studio a sweltering 95 degrees, he does so to prevent injuries. His postures are designed to make pliable and strong the most important part of the body, the spine. Because spine is source of all energies in the human body. It's the greatest nerve center. All those nerves started from the spine. If you have a good spine, you have everything in your life. If you have a bad spine, you have nothing, no reason to live for. As a medical doctor, aerobics guru and longtime yoga practitioner, Dr. Anne Marie Binstrom, comes with an understanding of both Western and Eastern traditions. The body will always want to be in balance, in harmony, and in optimum health. It is our birthright to have that. We should have health. Yoga gives you a sense of well-being that becomes sort of outrageous in the end. While it's been a well-kept secret in our country, yoga has been India's medical savior. From childhood, people learn yoga in order to survive. Raj, you were five-time yoga champion of India. Mm -hmm. When did you get started? I started when I was three years old. Once you started teaching yoga, mm -hmm. you basically taught children. Why? Yoga gives you that strength, correct decision, strong mind to make the correct decision to do everything for family, for society. So I thought that I should start teaching children and gives them that kind of power from the childhood and the body and mind when they are healthy. If you become sick, then you don't, you, you don't do things, you don't perform right. So they are healthy from the childhood. They don't need any outside medicine. But when you do yoga, outstanding you are, you are giving energy to your system. You don't have to sleep eight hours a day. You don't have to eat three times a day. That's why yoga maintains youth long and keep the body full of vitality, immune to diseases even at old, old age. Yogi never become old. Anybody should do yoga. I mean, it is the most wonderful tool for health. And uh, maybe one day through that, you open up other channels of awareness that tells us that death on our level of evolution is nothing more but the failure of living. Yoga is a nature, like a fire. You put in the finger in the fire, it's going to burn. It doesn't matter if you believe it or not. You don't have to prove it. OK, I'm hot, <laughs> and I'm no expert. You know, it takes a long time to learn the positions in yoga correctly enough to get the full benefits. But even after the first time, you get some benefits. A lot of people think that yoga is modern medicine's cure-all. It was amazing to see and experience yoga as an art form and then discovering it as a cure. One of our most popular episodes was our investigation of the kombucha mushroom craze. Since our airing, the interest and in exploration into this reported phenomena has only increased. Stories continually crop up in the news media, on informative programming, and even in current runnings of sitcoms and television dramas. Although there continues to be caution, and questions about its healing power, especially in its effectiveness against AIDS. Proponents claim thousands of testimonials stating results from new hair growth to curing cancer. While the focus continues to be on the kombucha mushroom, every study will help clarify exactly what the limits are to this amazing mushroom. A cup of kombucha tea, anyone? In the heart of Arizona lies a place of timeless beauty, a land filled with ancient myths and mystique. Below its surface lies vast, invisible energies 
that can have a profound and unique effect on all life forms on this earth. From time warps and past life images to supernatural energies and visions of spirits, all of that and more lie within the boundaries of Sedona. Susan O'Leary went on a journey which took her far beyond imagination. People claim that ancient power and magic lie within the mountains and canyons of Sedona. It was an atmosphere of mystery and strange tranquility that greeted me. Susan's first encounter with Sedona's strange and unknown forces was the Vortex Energy Centers. Gaia Lam, a transformation guide, led the way. Earth is a living, evolving being filled with places of tremendous power. These are vortices, sites linked to other dimensions. Vortexes are energy centers where the energy is able to move in and out of the Earth. Sedona is one of the major power points on our planet. There is cathedral, a magnetic vortex where the energy moves down and through, presenting feminine energy and Bell Rock, an electric vortex, where the energy moves up and out, presenting masculine energy. It is said that Bell Rock is a site where energies from outer space enter the aura and the body of the Earth. It connects our planet with other celestial bodies within and beyond our solar system. Bell Rock is an entry point into the inner Earth. Uh, many, many people have seen uh, flying saucers or spaceships around Bell Rock. It is an entry point for the spaceships to go into the inner Earth. In Sedona, the energies can be positive or negative. Your thoughts and emotions hold the key to how these energies can work for you or against you. So if a person comes here and they're in a bad mood, their bad mood will get worse it will really, in a sense, mirror what's going on within you. Or magnify. Magnify, exactly. Now, what we want to be able to do here is feel and sense the energy and also to see it. As we were doing the breathing exercises, a bizarre sensation of heaviness came over me. This, Gaia explained, was the energy from the vortex at work. The energies here are so strong. All right. You can definitely feel it. Definitely. At the same time, as I looked across towards Bell Rock, I was suddenly able to see the aura emanating from it. Because the energies from Bell Rock move up and out towards the cosmos, this is the perfect place to focus on what you want in life. At Bell Rock, there is an Alice through the looking glass portal. Before entering, you ask the spirits for something you want. Then slowly, Feeling the forces around you, you walk from one dimension into another. A burst of wind greeted me on the other side. A sign? I felt a chill go through my body as though someone or something was walking with me. Reverend Pamela Hoffman explained to Susan how strong the energies of Sedona really can work. If you do not belong here, or you come here with the wrong attitudes, the, the energies in Sedona have a way of picking you up and spitting you out. It can work for you, and it can work against you. Several negative vortices exist throughout the world, dangerous in their effect on human life and consciousness. We are all familiar with the Bermuda Triangle. And then there is the Persian Gulf and Mount Calvary, the site of the crucifixion. Stonehenge in England is a positive vortex which since ancient times and cultures has been linked to spirit and spiritual realms. It is also here in Sedona that the ancient Hopi Mesas came to live almost a thousand years ago. Martin Wolf took Susan to one of those sacred places. It is here that the Native American legends began, surrounded by the wondrous beauty. And behind that beauty is the great mystery. And that's something for each person to determine for themselves what that great mystery is. Another sacred site of the Native Americans are the medicine wheels. 
It is said that these circles of stones possess supernatural forces. An air of sanctity prevailed. The ritual to enter this ancient site was about to start. So when we come into a wheel, we walk clockwise. Our steps are like prayers that turn the wheel of life. A prayer for all living beings, for the healing of the sacred circle. The wheel also creates this, this gateway of energy, this vortex. Whatever power the land here exudes, I would never know. But once again, I could feel the exotic forces of Sedona at work. At the Sedona Sanctuary, people experienced Reiki, a 2,500-year-old Japanese tradition. It is the natural laying of hands involving channeling of energy from people like Mason Romney, an energy consultant. The hands become the electrodes. And the body, Einstein even talked about it as an incredible electrical system. And that electrical system is either blocked somewhere with an energy flow, and these energies could flow through you to someone. After a while, I felt this incredible warmth spreading through my body. Mason told me that the energy they channel to your body stimulates the body's own innate wisdom, balancing and healing it. And who could choose more idyllic surroundings? Many UFO sightings and alien contacts have been linked with the Sedona area. Robert Shapiro claims to be in contact with these beings from outer space. A lot of people believe that there's underground ET bases out in, around Boynton Canyon and maybe around Sycamore Canyon. Who's to say how long they've been there? So it's hard to say whether this area, because of its energy, attracts ETs or whether because ETs have been coming here for thousands of years. <laughs> what do you think the Palladians and the other ETs want? They want to know what the heck we're doing down here and why. A, how we can take it. B, what we're doing with it. C, why we're doing it. And D, is there anything in it for them? Robert also claims to channel these beings. I have certain beings that I feel the most comfortable with, that I worked with for a long time. It is one of those beings named Zosh that came through Robert as we were speaking. Zosh was able to tell me more about the future on Earth. There will be some changes. There will be some storms. There will be some earthquakes. But it will not be what you have been led to believe is Armageddon. And true Armageddon happens within yourself. This experience you are having in life is designed to show you what works and perhaps more importantly, what doesn't work. The key to being happy and fulfilled is to live your wisdom. It is with this enlightenment and better understanding of Sedona's mystics that Susan told me she has to go back there. Something magical happened up there. I'll need time to put it all in perspective, but whatever it was, it was magic. Also called the Twilight Zone, the Bermuda Triangle is a mysterious area somewhere in the Atlantic Ocean. Even in ideal weather conditions, planes and ships have vanished there without a trace. In rare instances, missing ships have been recovered without their crew or passengers. Many people claim to have witnessed other phenomena in that area, including balls of fire and objects that appear to be UFOs. Airplane crew members have reported sudden power failures and a strong magnetic force that pulls planes towards the sea. The skeptics claim that it is only people's imagination. It could be. Then again, who would dare go near the Bermuda Triangle looking for the truth? The natural energies of our planet, and even those within our body, seem limitless and extraordinary. I'm Patrick McNee. Join me next time for more mysteries, magic, and miracles.